All right, we're ready. Here we go. And lights are out, and away we go. Big start with one of the Red Bulls already split in the middle. To the race lead, Ramian Fisher. Already up front. Lazy Vitar and Toro Russo in second. Third, Ryan Butcher in the Mercedes. Joffrey Harrison there in fourth in the Force India. Pretty clean start. The Williams right there, Alexander Rowe in fifth. Nick Kennedy behind in the McLaren. Dexter Black and uh, Brad Cheston. Back to the front here. Got a lot less chaotic. Trying to minimize the madness we usually get. So here they come, completing the first lap. Looks like it's Raymond Fisher. First time in the FRD. And he'll take the first lap. Here they come. Got a big lead. Oh, kind of. Oh, big move over here. The Williams, Alexander Rowe. Trying to get third. Now here comes uh, Kennedy, almost. Sorry, currently a little bit uh, itchy right now. Can't really talk. Two point three, two point five, around there. Raymond Fisher just scooting away here. A six second lead while they're all pretty uh, bunched up over here. And the general is up to third. Pass being made, ooh, up the curb, but he made it. Ryan Butcher now drops the six, not a good start. Four-way battle for second place.
DRS is now available. Got Max Anderson coming down pit road in the Renault. Contact there between the Force Indy and the uh, McLaren. Slight contact, everything looks okay. Still side by side. Oh, they hook tires. That's slowing them down. Huge line of cars here. Oh, there goes a five. Can't make the pass there. To the outside, can he make it? I don't think so, not like that. The car's scrambling everywhere. A huge move right there by the seven. Tony Green. He's currently 10th, the last position to score points. Still got time left, or still time. So far, Snow Chaser has lost the most. Currently in 19th place in the Williams. And now it's uh, back to six between three cars, or two cars now. Anderson, who came down pit road, is back out on the racetrack in last place. Fisher is enjoying this. That's a very fast Red Bull car today. Almost a 10 second lead. Alexander Rowe is taken second. And Nick Kennedy is taken third. Blaze Avatar is dropped to fourth. Dexter Black there in fifth. Force India winning the uh, Instructors Championship last season. But they missed out on the driver's championship after crashing out early in the race. Here goes the 77. Ooh, two for one. Not quite, but he's still side by side there. And we'll go around the outside, and up to fourth he goes. Slowly working his way back up the racetrack, or up the field. Did he inside? No, oh, contact. Oh, he spins. Has to stop three wide there for like a, for like a second. Tony Green now up to six. He is just, uh, just passing. I don't know what I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, they're still pretty uh, packed up back here. DRS trying to break the draft. Only a few takers it looks like to make some moves. Another DRS zone. Hopefully no overcooks the corner. All right, everyone seems okay. Really, Max Anderson has the fastest lap, a minute 31 it looks like. So it's a 9 second lead here. There's Ramian Fisher right now, there's Alexander Rowe in the Williams that's riding on board with him. He is slowly catching it looks like. It's now under 8 seconds. Could he do it? Maybe. And yeah, look at that, a minute 31, 966 for Max Anderson. So he will more than likely finish last, if not last, out of points. But he will gain that extra point for having the fastest lap. Oh, never mind, he isn't gaining at all. It's 11 seconds now. Thought he was. Shit, was the limiter off? Hmm. Usually don't get up to this big, big lead here, but yeah. 
But Alexander Rowe had just posted a faster lap. Okay, looks like he is gaining a little bit more now. Oh, I want to get into the turns, of course. So Fisher enjoying the lead for now, maybe. There's Nick Kennedy, Ryan Butcher, uh, Dexter Black, Tony Green, Daniel Bouchard, Brad Cheston, Lazy Vitar, and Raleigh Houston! Oh! That was almost a wreck. As of now, Blaze Ibitar has lost more spots. He was in the he was in second. And now he's dropped all the way to ninth. Hang on a minute. Alright, trying to lower the volume on OBS here. See the gap there, it's under 8 seconds. And slowly dropping too. To 15 and 16. A lot of twists and turns at this racetrack. Uh, for most, pretty much all of the racetracks have a lot of turns. So he is closing. Under 8 down the back straight or the front straight away. No DRS to help him, so he's just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Six and a half. Nick Kennedy might be closing in too. Possibly. Maybe. Take a look at the back of the pack again. Actually, Max Anderson, wow, he's actually closed in on two drivers and he's up to 18th. Still no points, but very impressive indeed. Riley Houston Jr., Snow Chaser, uh, Kip Silverpoint, Chris Kyle, Josh King, Stephen Oaks, uh, Blaze Ivatar has now fallen out of points, and Joshua Harrison now in 10th. Probably Houston back where he was, where he started in ninth place. Only two drivers, not counting Cup Noodles, of course, are are currently at the same spot. A oh, big send right there, kept it under control too. Two Ferraris here. Oh, here you go, Brad Justin trying to make a pass. Or trying to hold them, hold them off, but looks like it didn't work out. Here they go. Ferrari gonna break the draft there. These three will all have DRS. And Chester's gonna send it in there into turn one. Oh, a little bit of contact, and he did it. He got it back. Another DRS zone. Look at the gap to the lead now. We almost got ourselves a battle for the race lead. A minute 32.707, Alexander Rowe's fastest lap now. Still not the fastest, but still, that's pretty damn fast compared to everyone else. Look at that. Incredible. Even Nick Kennedy at minute 33. Fisher is still only a minute 35 is his fastest lap. And I don't think he could go any faster. Maybe. I could be wrong. Never know. Yep, he sees him in his sights. Three seconds now. Still got time. He'll be in the draft at least, but of course he's got to be under one second within the detection zone to get the DRS. Well, oh, Fisher did go faster, but not by much. It's a minute 34, a 767. That Williams, Alexander Rowe pushing. And McLaren, Nick Kennedy in third. Daytona 500 champ. Now trying his hand at open wheel racing. 
Uh, Fisher is uh, scooting away again. Not by much though, but who knows? He might get out there at 10 second lead again. Nick Kennedy's flying. Let's ride on board with him. there. Will he be able to take second away? All over the rear wing of Alexander Rowe. You'll have DRS of course. Coming to the front stretch as now it's a seven second lead again. They are falling back. Alright, when will he make his move? There he goes. Can't block that. And Nick Kennedy is no he through the sand. Alright, that works. He'll still have DRS this time. Getting back. Oh, hang on. Don't go too hard. Don't want to make. Don't want to crash. Well, they still got time in this race, and man, Kennedy's really trying to get that lead. Or trying to get second. Little lockup back there. Let's take a look at their pack. Ryan Butcher running all alone in fourth, his teammate not too far back in fifth, Dexter Black. Currently back there in sixth, the Ferraris are still uh, close to each other. They're seven and eight. Bouchard and uh, Blaze. Oh, no, not. No, uh, yeah, that's uh, Blaze Zibitar. Joshua Harrison. And I believe. Uh, yeah, Harrison has the 10th, he's currently have, holds the last spot for points, 10th. Yeah, it's a little tricky in our factor. Kind of. Sort of, or maybe because it's due to the Formula 1 cars. Oh, here we go, Chris Kyle, trying to make a pass. On Stepan Oaks. Driving the same car as last season, 27 Renault. Ferrari's going at it. Yeah, whoa. Charles Kirby also posting a fast lap, a minute 32 there. Appears to be the second fastest, or third fastest, either way. Pretty fast. We could see Max Anderson. Oh, as he goes into into the dirt. Yeah, he was able to close in, pick up two spots, and that's it. And we just saw him lose one. So yeah, Anderson is not making any gains here. The other Williams card, a number 19. Or also Sauber. Sauber winning the uh, driver's championship last season. It was not too close of a battle. Uh, it was kind of close, but once one of the Force India cars crashed out, yeah, it was pretty much set. Unless he didn't finish in points. Oh, big move. Yeah, this should be interesting to watch. Trying to block. Well, they both got DRS, but I believe that Forcini will have the advantage. Yeah, he's going to try to do it here in turn one. It's way too tight. So far, not too chaotic, which is good. We have a little bit of chaos, but not too much.
Kennedy's under 10 seconds, 10 seconds behind a leader. Alexander O has fallen pretty far behind now. Still got the podium spot at least. So let's see if Kennedy can close the gap. He's pulled away from Alexander Rowe, so he has no pressure from behind. He's got to focus on Raven Fisher. He's gained four spots so far, not the most. So, so far, Chris Kyle has gained the most, eight spots. Blaze Jupiter has lost the most, nine spots. Oh, there he is, within our view. Oh, faster lap, 594 that time. I can hear that Honda engine right there. Hondas weren't so good in this year, but this is our factor too. It don't matter. All the cars have a chance to win without uh, all the faster cars crash out. I mean, now we had a Sauber win last season. A Sauber win the championship. And a Force India getting the uh, constructors. Toro Rosso got three wins. A Renault got a win. Mercedes got Two wins, I think. Two or three. <laughs> yeah. It's not like real Formula One, but why would you? I mean, just pick Mercedes and you're guaranteed to win like 90% of the races. So yeah, let's say it's, it's good. It's unrealistic, but who cares? Who wants some action? A Red Bull, McLaren, and a Williams. Red Bull is believable, of course. But a McLaren and a Williams? Nah. Almost under a second here. Four seconds back. A handful of laps will remain here. Under three seconds now. Alexander Rose got it under ten, so he is inching his way forward again. Oh, look at all these drivers. Yeah, they're under like minute 31. So 492 and all that stuff. Yeah, our leader here who's have who has led everything so far. Does is not even close to the fastest lap of the race. Really far behind in lap times. There is no points for getting the pole award, unlike the F the B class, which is four points to get the pole. So, uh, yeah, Ryan Butcher does not get any extra. He's currently fourth. Yeah, Kennedy appears to be a little stuck here, he's still within four seconds. Oh, he is gaining, but that's because they're in the turns. We'll see the real gains when they get to the straightaways. Doing everything he can. Possibly the dirty air affecting Nick Kennedy's car. It's always a factor. No, that was not a pun to anything like that. I promise. Brad Chess is back up to seventh. Chris Kyle still has the both spots game with 9, Bouchard 5, and also in 5th. So it looks like the Ferraris have separated. Back here we see the other McLaren, Kip Silverpoint, the other Red Bull, Charles Kirby. There's a Sauber in 18th, Anderson, he's gained up to, se up to 17th place now. Josh King, Riley Houston Jr., Riley Houston, the Haas team, 
the other Williams snow chaser the, and all that oh here we go Alexander Rowe he is back he is back so far it's only been a fight for a second every position but first and you can see that rear wing is open Ryan Butcher he's also closed in a little bit he's under 10 seconds don't push too hard don't make a mistake Three and a half, three. They're only within the turns though. No fuel saving mode. Uh, no fuel saving mode. What? Uh, yeah, pretty sure they have their engines at the maximum pace. So yeah, screw fuel saving. It's go time. Gotta go now. Close as they've been to Raven Fisher with that great start. Got through the middle, took the lead. So far, is that everything? Under two seconds. Still not close enough for DRS at least, but man, Nick Kennedy is closing. Another season opener winner, or win? Not, well. The Australian Grand Prix isn't really a crown jewel event, but still. Got Monaco there on the track, or on the schedule. Bro well, was closing and he's faded back again. Oh yeah. Here we go. Can Nick Kennedy get to Fisher? Under one second, but there is no DRS back here. It's only on the straightaways in the front, the two straightaways. Yeah, you wouldn't want to open DRS there in the turns, you would spin out. We could just keep it right there. He has it. Fisher can block his ult if he can. Might not be a good idea though. Here we go. Almost in the zone. Right around here, the detection zone. Oh yeah. You know he has it. He has DRS and he's gonna use it. What is Raven Fisher? Well, Fisher, he's just gotta let him go and try to just cross him over. Or something like that, but... He's there, but he doesn't make a move yet. Possibly the second uh, time around. Here we go. There he goes, looking inside. And he's got it. Kennedy to the front. Four laps are remaining, and we got ourselves a new leader. Can Fisher get him back? Oh, he's pulling away though. It's gonna be tough. If he could just stay under a second there, he might have a chance. Not too far back. Oh yeah, he's staying within a second there. Right there on the wing. Yeah, he's not letting this race slip, slip out of his hands. He had a great start, huge lead. He's led the most, although there isn't any points for it. 
He's already trying to look to make a pass. Here he goes. Now it's his turn. Three laps to go. Now here he goes to the inside. Kennedy trying to block. Can't make it happen. He's got the inside. Oh, hop the curve. He, he spins right in front. Big stop right there. He'll still have DRS because he's in front. He was still behind within the zone. Even if you make a pass, you still have it. Oh, man, what a crazy moment that was. Alexander Rose under three seconds and Nick Kennedy falling back again. Oh, a nearly costly mistake. Luckily, he spun in front of Nick Kennedy having the jam on the brakes. It's it's a lose-lose situation for Kennedy because if he kept going, he would have hit Fisher and he would have lost the front wing and he would have had the pit. Now had to lead over to Alex, uh, Alexander Rowe there. Well, three laps. Can, can Kennedy catch him back? Can he do it? Man, that was... He, he, he tried to block. Kennedy he tried to block. He pinched him down, trying to enter the turn shallow. Fisher wasn't going to let up. Yeah, I wasn't going to let that happen, so he did it. Almost cost him. As they now battle it out for second again. See if Ryan Butcher can get back into the podium. And there we go. Look at that block. Nick Kennedy does it again. This time, Alexander Rowe goes to the outside. And it works. Great pass. Rowe to second, and here comes the Ryan Butcher. Can he steal that podium away? Oh, okay, hang on. Might be a little contact there. That's okay. These cars are a little bit more durable in real life, in, in the R Factor than they are in real life, although I can change that if you guys like. Well, one little tap, and kaboom! The wing's gone. That was a great battle for the lead when it lasted. We're approaching to the final lap of the race, the Australian Grand Prix. Now what a race here. Today we had er, what it what is English. <laughs> but yeah. Kennedy able to close in, had a nice battle with the uh, or exciting battle, more than nice, with Ravian Fisher. Fish are nearly crashing. Fisher, first time here in the FRD, did not compete in any of the series last season. And looks like he's going to win his first race and his first start in the A class. Here we go. White flag is out. One more time around. Oh, there's a lot of activity for the, for the final po uh, podium spot. Mercedes, Ferrari, Renault, all behind. Kennedy trying to at least get a podium out of this. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he is at a big disadvantage. Big lock up by Ryan Butcher, but he gets it. Battle not over yet. Four and a half second lead. Not really big for Formula or yeah, for Formula uh, Racing standards, but it's big enough. No need to worry. Here we go. Look at this. Can Ryan Butcher even take second? Uh, it's even better, of course. Yeah, he started on pole, but he had, he didn't need a lap. Fell back a bit. Be a wild battle for the last podium spot. It looks like, or for second at least. Here they come, or here comes Fisher, in the final few turns, I believe this is turn 14, yeah that should be turn 14, into turn 15 and 16, and here they come, checkered flag is out, Rabian Fisher, he didn't lead all the laps, but he led the most, and he's going to win the Australian Grand Prix, checkered flag, Rabian Fisher wins the Australian Grand Prix, Alexander Rowe hangs on to second. Ryan Butcher makes a late pass. 
Oh, big, big lag there. Nick Kennedy, Chris Kyle, Bouchard, Black, Cheston, Green, Harrison. Final points paying position. And yep, I believe that's all. So, okay, uh... Let me just pause this so it doesn't... Okay, I can... Oh, whatever. Just do that, okay. Uh, let me just remove something first. He's out of the way. Okay, so here is your official results. Ramian Fisher wins in his first outing in the FRD for Red Bull Racing. Alex in a row gets Williams a podium. And uh, Ryan Butcher was able to take the final podium spot. So we have two believable uh, uh, teams getting in the podium spot. Now uh, Williams getting second, although they weren't so bad in 2017, but... Still pretty kind of odd or whatever. Uh, the McLaren Nick Kennedy, he fought hard. He fought very hard, but could not do it. He almost, almost took that win away from Ryan Fisher. And he ended up finishing fourth. Still not too bad. A very good f f finish for Nick Kennedy. Chris Kyle gained the most spots and finished fifth. Bouchard for Ferrari. He gets six. Uh, for Sinia, Dexter Black, seven. Brad Cheston in the other Mercedes gets eight. Tony Green, the other Ferrari ninth, and Joshua Harrison scoring the final points paying position. Here's the rest of the uh, race results Oak, Zebertar, Houston, Soul Chaser, Houston Jr., Anderson, King, uh, the uh, Audrey B., uh, Charles Kirby, and Kip Silver Point. Now they'll have to try again to score points. And uh, yeah, it looks like a few teams Sauber, Tor, Russell, Haas. Those three teams fail to score points. So our next uh, race will be at the Bahrain International Circuit. And uh, we'll see you there.